All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. If I can call this meeting to order, please. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Budget and Finance Committee. Uh, today's August 1st, 2016, and we're ready to begin. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get our public comment uh, done first, uh, members. I'm going to have uh, general public comment and uh, general and comment on each of our three agenda items. I'm going to take those together. Uh, so, Mr. Herman, uh, you're up first. Let's see, you have cards on items one, two, three, and public comment. Uh, so you can have four minutes. Allocate it however you'd like. All right, while we're waiting for Mr. Herman, Mr. Spindler, why don't you come on up? Four minutes. Yes, we were just in the other meeting. Again, congratulations and thank you to all the attorneys for suing the shit out of this evil municipality, as it should be. And of course, where would we be without the fifth place finish of Mitchell Englander? Everybody give my hand. So now, thank you. So now we have this disgusting thing where we're talking about fire and police pensions. You, you guys aren't going to have a, a fire and police pension the way that they're spending this money like drunken sailors. They're violating everybody's rights. And eventually everybody's going to come to court and they're going to get the money because they can't control themselves. There's no internal controls on liability. This place has become a settlement machine. And that means no fire and police pension for you. When the city goes bankrupt, remember, no soup for you. Well, they're going to say... When you're living in Florida and you're 60, 70 years old, no more police pension for you. No more fire petition pension for you. Because the politicians, when they're termed out, spend all your money on needless shit. And then we got this thing on item one, Wayne Guillory versus City of Los Angeles. Retaliation in employment under the Fair Employment Housing Act and government code. Of course the city's guilty. They do this all the time. In, a, in the case of Armando versus City of Los Angeles, that never got filed, they kicked him out of his rent control department. He'll be speaking with his advocate, Mr. B. And then, of course, now you have your favorite tactic, your goddamn restraining order machine. Well, you got one against me, but I found out you can appeal it to the second appellate district. So that's exactly what the fuck I did. And they got the transcript. We got our statement of interested parties. We've got our notification. And you assholes are going to have to answer that. But why not stop there? Let's do what every good American does. Let's sue the city. Raise your hands if you'd like to sue the city. Of course we would. CV 16-05655, Wayne Spindler versus City of Los Angeles, versus Matt Johnson, versus Mitchell Englander, versus Marquise Harris Dodson, versus Charlie Beck, and of course the Honorable Steve Soboroff. And this has nothing to do with what happened on May 13th. This is the reason why you fucking arrested me on May the 13th, to make sure I didn't get to the courthouse to file these documents. Documents that proved You've been fucking with me. And when you fuck with somebody, you either stop or you continue with your rampage. You chose to continue with your rampage. And then you got to go, Englander, Kanabi, and Allen, and one of their partners has got to keep going with it to give my, my license away from me so I can't work. What a great fucking idea. So, we got anti-slap, Illegal use of police resources, 
conspiracy, civil and criminal RICO. And you don't stop because you don't have city attorneys, you don't have counsel. You need to get lawyers to talk to people and maybe a psychologist <laughs> because they need to tell you this is the public's fucking money you're fucking with. Stop doing it and get it under control. Get your goddamn organs under control and get back to being professional because this shit is stacking up and it's way out of hand. Way out of hand. Way out of hand. So we're talking about section of the Brown Act 54956.9 parentheses D parentheses 1 legal counsel relative to the case entitled Wayne who cares? Let's just go on to the subject of this no, item number 1. But even better, let me waive all that and go into a general public comment now. I'd like to advise you under the uh, 395 444 U.S. Government Code for Clarence Brandenburg versus Ohio, 1969. It's a grim reminder that there are repercussions when you deal with First Amendment, repercussions when you deal with the 14th Amendment. Kill him, Herman. He's a puppet. So when you deal with the significant portions of our civil rights to deliberate and participate in meetings, how far does this go? Yeah. I'm quoting from Brandenburg versus Ohio, and I'm going to read it the way it is on the manuscript. This is what we are going to do to the niggers. A dirty nigger... Send the Jews back to Israel. Let's give them back to the dark garden. Save America, Herman. Save America, Herman. Save America, Wayne Spindler. Let's go back to the Constitution betterment. Right. Betterment for us bears. And let's bury the what? And. Nutty, nutty, nutty ends. We intend to do our part. Yes, we do. Give us our state rights. Give us our constitutional rights. Give us the Bill of Rights. And give us beers, all right? To participate. And then go forward from here on. Freedom for the whites. Freedom for who? No one but other than Armando Herman. He will fight for every fucking inch he gets from now on. Because Herman is one fucking working nigger. See, so I'm not upset. I'm using intensifiers to highlight the action, the emotions you guys give me the heart on. I get a drive for this because I can't stand seeing people being suppressed. I can't believe you bring harm to little bears in public meetings. He's talking about me. I participate in lots of meetings, and people get upset because I wear my hoodie. And when we talk about Sacramento, I went up to Sacramento on, yeah, Thursday, the 27th, no, 28th. And I said to Mr. Tony Mendoza, Senator of the 32nd District that I'm being suppressed by advocacy. I said during a public comment period, Herman spoke of an intent to bury people who he referred to using the racial epithet. Epithet. But Herman doesn't like to kill people because when Herman worked in a hospital, he put them in bags, especially gay people when he worked on the AIDS wards at USC. It took the rotten motherfuckers down to the morgue on the second floor at County USC. See? Herman is politically correct. That's why you should always listen to public comment. In Sacramento, Tony Mendoza will be getting back to you about my fucking bullshit and Senator Hate Hernandez and Senator Jim Beal. Ms. Ramirez, please. Ms. Ramirez, you have two cards. Uh, if you'd like to speak on uh, general public comment for one minute and that item number three for one minute in whichever order you please. Wonderful. Um, I'll start with uh, public comments. Um, 
the city of Los Angeles has unlawfully and underhandedly been lying to the hard-working taxpayers by subsidizing all jealous, nosy, criminally wicked, racist, hate-mongering wetbacks and chango Latino gang-banging pussies, pigs, and thieves. Therefore, stop rewarding and start weeding out all illegal wetbacks and their umbilical cord changos, uh, like your city employees that haven't been performing their job description duties. Stand for the rule of law, like El Jefe, Donald Trump. And then let's start by firing all the gang-banging, dirty, rogue rena cops from the LAPD. These two wetback LAPD asshole cops are Lopez, badge number 41743, and Aquino, badge number 41631. Deport them. Furthermore, um, um, if they don't know what harassment is, please re refer them to retired ex-FBI agent Ted Gunderson on YouTube regarding gang stalking. Or oh, one more, there's Detective Lake uh, from Central Division. Send him to Guantanamo Bay. And um, again, God bless America and Donald Trump. And um, item number three, give all our LAPD chopper pilots and medevac pilots in the fire department and LAPD officers Marco Duarte, LAPD officers, and LAPD officer Morris, and officer Graciano, officer Wu, and Jones, and a few others, a pay raise, double their pension, and give them a two weeks paid vacation. And I'm not being facetious. They earned it. They are great. They are dedicated, they are disciplined, highly skilled. They know how to quell shady situations and they deter crimes in this city. You are very well protected. I wish I had that kind of protection 24 seven, but I don't. So God bless them as well. God bless them, you know? And now item number two, uh, gentlemen, I don't know what store revolving fund is. I wish you had a narrative. And again, God bless America. God bless America. Let's create a better Los Angeles. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, members, I'd like to propose uh, item number three uh, for approval uh, to concur in the personnel committee recommendations and note and file that item. If there's no objection, that'll be the action of the committee. Um, item number two uh, is the city attorney report and ordinance relative to the store revolving fund. Are there any questions uh, on that matter, members? If not, we can go ahead and I think approve that. All right, uh, then it will be the action of the committee to approve that item. That brings us to closed session uh, for item number one.